Hey guys, Peyton Snayback here again for another video for you guys today. I know it's been like at least like two weeks since I did like an upcoming movie videos. But this is upcoming movies number 157. So um, a lot of neat stuff here to talk to you guys about. Um, you know, let's get started, shall we? Um, now these first five here, um, these are like um, these are like um, all the exclusive movies of um, The Incredibles 2. Um, and there's five exclusives coming out, um, which we got The Incredibles 2, the Disney Movie Club exclusive on Blu-ray, the Best Buy exclusive, Steelbook 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray, the regular 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray, you know, the, and the regular Blu-ray, of course, the Target exclusive, Digibook, Filmmaker Gallery, and Storybook. 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray and Target exclusive with limited edition metal Jack Jack 4 action doll um, 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Yep, so a couple editions of Incredibles 2 is coming out. The Blu-ray and 4K. Yeah, there's like a lot of neat stuff here to talk about. Just to let you guys know. Um, the next one here, I think I put this on here because I thought it was like a slasher movie or something. I can't remember because like I said, it's been over two weeks since I did a video like this. But that is a movie called Afraid. The next one, that's this one's going to be airing on CBS, I believe. Um, I think it, and I think it airs either next week or maybe it already aired. I'm not sure, but that is Young Sheldon Season 2. And if you guys didn't know, by the way, which I'm pretty sure I talked about already... Um, that this year is the final season of um, Big Bang Theory. I have never seen an episode of that. My papa watches that a lot. And he watches Young Sheldon. I guess they're going to quit it because the fact that they're doing the prequel to the um, Big Bang Theory, I guess that's pretty much why. I'm not sure. Alright, um, the next one here that's coming out is Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 3 on Blu-ray, which... You know, there, there was some of the shorts I liked. I like the old-school shorts that they did, um, you know, when they came out. Like, I like the ones that, you know, that came out when it was on VHS, like, before the movie, you know, like, there was one called, uh, For, For the Birds. There was one called, um, Knick Knack. Um, what other ones were there? Um, I think... This one was like a Monster Zank exclusive thing. Um, Mike, Mike's new car, something like that. And I and I really like that one. Um, I think it was like I don't know when it was made, but it was something called. Uh, I think. What the heck was that called? I can't even remember what it was called. One about the old man playing a chess game, and he's basically playing it by himself. I forgot what that one was called though. Alright, but anyway, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you guys, you know, seen any of these shorts, you probably know what I'm talking about. Alright, the next one, the, the next two that are coming out is, you got two editions of, well, there's a couple editions on here, a couple of random editions I have on here, of Ant-Man and the Wasp. We got the regular 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray, and the other one is the Target exclusive 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Alright, um, the next one here that's coming out, I cannot even pronounce this, it's Black Kaz... Black Kaz Man? I don't know how you say it. But 4 character HD on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is the Transformers The Ultimate 5 Movie Collection 4 character HD on Blu-ray, which I thought I already talked about. I might have did. That was probably the Blu-ray release that came out. I think there was a Blu-ray release of this set that's coming out, the 4K. But I think they they were sep they were released in separate 4K like editions. I thought they were. I guess I could be wrong. Right, the next one that's coming out is a movie called The Chamber on Blu-ray. Alright, the next one that's coming out. Now it um, this is a movie I'm really excited to see. 
it comes out in about a month, but some people have seen it early already, so it's possible that there's already, like, a VHS release of this. It's possible, I'm saying. But that is the brand new Halloween movie, the 2018 movie, on VHS already. It's not even out yet. And again, I know some people have seen it early because there was, like, a... They had a recent, like, screening of the movie. Um, which, unfortunately, I would... I don't live in, like, Hollywood or wherever it was screened at, but... Wish I, I wish I lived there so I could go see it that early and review about it. Yeah, but I'm really excited for this movie to come out. And another slasher movie comes out um, this Friday. Um, and it's kind of cool that they're bringing back, you know, all these new, like, cool, like, slasher movies in theaters again. Because, I mean, like, the only horror movies that, you know, come out now is, like, those possession movies. Like demonic like movies those are like the kind of movies that you you only like see in like theaters you don't see like a texas chainsaw or a friday the 13th like slicing and dicing movies like that i mean it's it's kind of cool that they're bringing these movies back but the other movie that is coming out which i heard is a slasher movie i'm really interested in seeing it it's called um hellfest really looks interesting yeah but that is halloween coming out on vhs all right the next one that's coming out is Door 1 of the 5 Doors to Hell on Blu-ray, which was one of those SRS Cinema exclusive ones. Like, those limited edition ones that are coming out from those four mystery horror packs, whatever you call them, those subscription things. Next one that's coming out is The Gingerbread Man on Blu-ray from Kino. And I think, um, The Chamber, I think that was also coming out from Kino. I'm not sure. But I know The Gingerbread Man was. I know that was coming out from Kino. Alright, the next one here that's coming out, this movie here, um, now this is, I think they're going to be doing this this year, like for a TV movie. I can't remember if the first one was a TV movie or what. I hadn't seen that one in such a long time. But I remember watching it on Disney Channel and really got into it. Probably because of the actress, because I was a big fan of Lindsay Lohan back then. Um, but that was the movie Life Size. From what I remember, it was about, it was, it was, when she was young, like, when she was very, very little, um, movie about, um, her, it's her birthday, and, you know, all she has is her father, but she doesn't have her mother, I think she died or something, and for her birthday, she ends up, I think it was her birthday, she ends up, like, getting a doll of, like, a Tyra Banks doll, um, and, you know, she thought it would be cool to probably have this, I don't know, kind of like, I can't remember how, how she got, but, she, um, tries to get her mom to come back to life, but ends up going wrong, and instead, the Tyra Banks doll ends up coming to life instead. I can't remember what she was doing. I can't remember. I have to rewatch that movie again, but... But, by the way, that is one I really hope that's coming out to, um... It comes out to Blu-ray from the Disney Movie Club, which I'm pretty sure it will, but... Uh, but the other, the movie I'm talking about here, the new one that's coming out, it's called Life Size 2... Um, I think I already talked about it. Yeah, but it, which is, I'm assuming, a TV movie for uh, Disney Channel. I'm so looking, really looking forward to seeing what that's like. All right, the next one that's coming on, or, yeah, coming on, is To Catch a Killer, all-new series on ID. Then we got another edition of um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Next one, next one that's coming out is The Spy Who Dumped Me. Uh, 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Then we got Home Alone Season 2. You know, the Investigation Discovery Show. Now this next one here, I'm really looking forward to um, getting this one on Blu-ray. Because um, I know 88 Films um, released it out from, you know, the UK company. Um, Slasher Classics Collection, they released it, and for some reason it got out, it went out of print, um, which was the movie Blood Harvest, which I know it was region free, but on the back it said region B, but it was actually a region free release, so, but, you know, Vinegar Syndrome is putting this out, the Blu-ray, um, in the U.S., so that's pretty cool that they're actually going to release this movie in the U.S., so, pretty cool, because at least I get another chance to try to get the movie, you know, I mean, it wasn't something that I really wanted to, you know, get, like, right away, but, um, but I know the sense it was, like, an out-of-print movie. Because that, like I said, it was released from 88 Films. And for some reason, it got pulled. Um, I'll get it. 
because maybe because what if this movie went out this release went out of print as well you know because I, I don't know if it's limited I don't think it is because um, I know some of some of these like um, vinegar syndrome ones are limited but yeah that's a, that is blood harvest and stars on um, tiny Tim which he was like that singer I believe all right the next one that's coming out is Reba the complete series or Reba my fault Reba then we got Mamma Mia, two movie collection. Now, now these next two that are coming out is um, got Summer of 84 on Blu-ray and Summer of 84 on VHS. Uh, the ne now these next, now we got a lot of um, movies from, you know, like Germany, Australia, and France, all that kind of stuff that are coming out. Um, we got, some of these are, are neat ones. Really hope that some. Well, this this one right here I'm going to talk about in a, in a minute. Really hope that it's like a region free, because um, I would really like to get that. But it's limited, of course. But I'll talk about that one in a sec. But the, the first one from the um, um, overseas Blu-rays is Ready Player One Media Market Exclusive Collector's VHS Edition Blu-ray on from Germany. Now this is the one I'm gonna I'm, I want to talk about. Really hope I have my fingers crossed that it is region free. Well, it's limited, so I don't. There's no way I could get it anyway. But that is Tales from the Crypt, the complete series, limited edition, media book, Blu-ray from Germany. I love Tales from the Crypt. Um, I seen every se well except for season seven. I only seen like I think it was only like thirteen episodes of season seven. I only seen five episodes, so. I'm really almost done with it. I just haven't even finished it yet. So, but I seen the um, all all seasons one, two, three, four, five, and six. I seen every episode of those six seasons. As seven season is the last one. I just wanted to watch that one, and I did. He I did hear some about um, M Night Shyamalan. I think that's how you say. You know, the guy who did um, six, yeah, Six Sense, um, Signs, Visit. Um, split happening and the new one that's coming out um, Glass which is basically the sequel to Split he was going to do a like a reboot to um, Tales from the Crypt but I guess but for some reason they got cancelled so I don't know what happened I would have really liked to see what would you know how they would have done it but if you don't know what Tales from the Crypt is you know it's the Crypt Keeper telling like these stories you know, it was basically like Goosebumps and um, Tales from the Dark Side. Um, but it was like a, an, an anthology-like TV show. Uh, the next one that's coming out is Doomsday Cinema Cult, Blu-ray from Australia. Then we got The Replacement Killers, um, Cinema Cult, Blu-ray from Australia. Next one that's coming out is Flight of the Living Dead, Outbreak on a Plane. Which sounds kind of interesting. Uh, Blu-ray from Germany. Then we got The Last House on Cemetery Lane. Uh, Blu-ray from Germany. Now, now, this next one that's coming out is Life Force, which I heard it went out of print on Blu-ray from, um, from Scream and Shell Factory. But I know that um, there was like a limited edition of Steelbook of it um, that came out. So, um, there's another chance for people to get it. I'm not interested in it, but, yeah. But, Life Force, uncut version, Blu-ray from Germany. Then we got Scarecrows, uncut, Blu-ray from Germany. Alright, then we got, um, Six-Headed Shark Attack, uncut, Blu-ray from Germany. Alright, this next one that's coming out, and I, I believe it's just only coming out to DVD in the U.S. I don't think there's any Blu-ray release in the US, yeah, U.S., but Australia has a Blu-ray release of this coming out, which is Elvis Presley, The Searcher. All right, the next one that's coming out is Toxic Adventure Trilogy. Uh, Digibook, Blu-ray from France. And the last one that's coming out from, you know, the overseas Blu-rays is uh, we got Tales That Witness Madness, Digibook, Blu-ray from France. Uh, all these are going to be from the U.S. All right. Um, next one is double pack with 
Sicario and Sicario 2 on Blu-ray. I'm pretty sure I said that all wrong. Next one that's coming out, this is coming out from Shell Factory, um, which is the um, Legally Blonde collection from Shell Factory. And I I know, too, that Reese Witherspoon announced that they were going to be doing a, a third one. Well, I thought they did a third one, but I guess it's not part of the, um, you know, Legally Blonde series. But um, she announced that she that they're that part three is officially going to be um, happening. So never, I never seen any of these movies, but it's kind of cool that she you knows she's going to be coming back and doing that. Though, all right, this next one that's coming out is now this now this is um they talk about these ones a lot when you know the Scream sequels came out. You know they were making fun of the movies. They were doing a movie called Stab, which basically was like a true story to like, you know, the first screen, basically. In the movie, that's what it was. But apparently a VHS release of Stab is coming out. Then we got The Predator, the 2018 movie on VHS. This next one that's coming out, this sounds like a really ridiculous movie, but it sounds interesting, called Bong of the Living Dead on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is The Darkest Minds 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. This next one here. Now this one, I believe it, it is the first time for this movie to come out the Blu-ray in the U.S. Because I think, I think it was 88 films that released this out on Blu-ray. Um, but it was a movie called Grizzly, which is, I believe from the looks of it, it's like about a killer bear coming out the Blu-ray from Scorpion Releasing. Next one that's coming out is Slave of the Cannibal God on Blu-ray. And the last one that's coming out is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Limited superhero sticker sheet on Blu-ray. And that is it for upcoming movies number 157. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.